Good morning, Minecraft! And here's the morning news flash. This just in. Anyone attempting to visit a large ocean biome has a 20% chance of being dropped in the middle of nowhere. You too can avoid these mishaps by bringing a spare boat, some planks of wood, or just a really large pair of galoshes. And now, a word from our host, Mr. One Wolf! Alright guys, here we are. This is Hello. a 1.3 world, and I've got... Jonathan Borg with me, and what we're going to talk about today is the good, the bad, and the ugly of the 1.3 update. Some really cool features, some really annoying features, and just some absolutely deadly glitches. So, Hi. let's start with one of the new features in a world generation. This is called a bonus chest, and it's great for survival maps. Um, especially the treeless island survival maps. Indeed. And what we have in the chest is some basic tools, some wood, and occasionally there's a couple of loaves of bread. Uh, this one didn't have any Or in an it. apple. Oh, I it haven't seen... Contain, uh, it can contain basically a random food item. I don't think it can contain cooked pork chops, but I'm not sure on that, so... I haven't nor seen the apple. Or chicken, but... I think it can contain that. It's fairly random. Okay, and uh, one of the one of the other new features we have are some some new blocks. Actually, not new blocks, but new ways to place blocks. And this tree over here will show you guys that we have a tree laying on its side. Yes, Jonathan went ahead and built this. <laughs> I think it looks great. We have if only they fell like this when you when you chop them down. We have sideways logs, and uh, here's how to go about and place them. Um, they basically place where you're facing, like stairs used to, or like pistons. Yeah, like pistons, definitely. Which means they are fairly hard to control nowadays. Oh. They are a lot of random. And that brings us to uh, our first bad point: is that they're now hard to control. Yeah. It's a bit difficult to build with them sometimes. And something else that I have liked are well, we've got a new uh we've got a new inventory box. It's got everything organized into uh groups. You have a building blocks group decorative blocks group. Who would have known? A torch is a decorative block. Seems legit. <laughs> a chest is a decorative block. A furnace is a decorative block. Holy crap. A lily pad is a decorative block. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, lily pads, uh, I guess, seems legit. We've got Torches, red, redstone really. blocks, transportation items. A saddle is in a transportation item. Yeah, I guess it actually makes sense, although it's extremely difficult to control the freaking pig. <laughs> oh wait, I Food actually haven't items. tried to do that in 1.3. Uh, Quick tools, test. Combat, armor, weapons. All nope, the, still can't control the pig. All the potions are available in creative. They didn't used to be. And now we have the emerald items. Okay, so uh, what I was looking for were the nice stairs. We have three different colors of stairs. Plus the new sandstone stairs. Ah, sandstone stairs, awesome. I've been wanting those for a very long time. Um, Indeed. In 1.2, to create upside down stairs, you had to place the stair on the underside of a block. From what I'm seeing now, you only need to place it on the upper half of a block. Indeed, it's useful, but it's very difficult to place it down in, let's say, mines and stuff now, because if you have like a walk when you're trying to make a way up, when you back down, most of the time you will be aiming at the top of the block instead of lower, so it will basically go like this down. Yeah. It's That's, fairly annoying. <laughs> it is quite annoying. Uh, same thing with half slabs. And something else that we should point out, I mean, since we're on this topic, half slab, yeah. Um, here, 
Let me. I'm just going to build this little structure here, and then I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. Be under miscellaneous, and put some lava in there. Half slabs and stairs now burn. Stairs have been able to burn since I think one point zero. Oh, yeah, well, one point zero. Now but half slabs. slabs slabs now burn. Yeah, all the wooden slabs now burn. Uh, but if you have old wooden slabs like you uh, made before 1.3, they are still counted as stone and they are not named oak wood slabs, they are just named wooden slabs and they will never burn. Oh, that's awesome. Yep, yeah, I have it, like two stacks. Is it, sta is it slabs placed or slabs crafted? Slabs crafted oh. and placed. If you have placed them before, they will still count the same way as when you placed them. Okay, this lava is taking too long. Let's grab some flint and steel. steel and I got it. La dee 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 dee. Fire! It's immersing. <laughs> oh, yeah, you can now hit through stairs, and the mobs can sadly see you through it, so don't try to use that to kill creepers. They will blow up. Oh, man. So they can see through the stairs? What about yeah, but you can, can also uh, you can also shoot through them. You can click through them and everything, so it's fairly useful. Can uh, can you see through glass? I mean, can they see you through glass? No, they can't because that is still counted as a block, which is something very useful that it is. And this is probably the most fail generated house I've seen in a village this far when it comes to. Yeah, it has two floors, and the lowest one is filled with cobblestone. Hell yeah, seems legit. <laughs> Awesome. There's a villager stuck up here. <laughs> There's a villager stuck no up there. No good trading deal. <laughs> oh yeah, wheat for diamonds. Or the new villager can and um, villagers can unlearn a trade when you have traded at those uh, between those amount of times, but only if you leave the trading UI. So if you have it open, you can trade it forever until you close the UI. Right. So you can basically have like 400 dispensers shooting down paper on you with let's say a librarian that wants paper for emeralds and you can trade for a full inventory of emeralds. <laughs> it's insane. That's awesome. <laughs> oh and yeah, the new gravel texture with uh, 1.3. Yeah, they changed the gravel. In my opinion, not a good thing. It looks so ugly. Just my opinion. It looks like these steel plates you find on uh, truck bumpers. Yeah, exactly. That doesn't... Uh, <laughs> it looks like, let's say, those, but made in stones. Well, yeah, in stone, but they have the same, like, look, which means they don't really seem natural in caves. Well, what I had... I had a problem with the, uh, the old gravel before. When I was first starting out, I could not tell the difference between gravel and and cobblestone from a distance. Yeah, exactly. Now they have changed that a bit. Or looking into my own inventory, I really couldn't tell. if Is this cobblestone or is this gravel? So, yeah, I had the same problem when I started. That's why I always threw away gravel when I started Minecraft. Right. Luckily, they changed that texture before 1.3 once. Uh, let me see. Oh yeah, we have the emerald ore and emerald block. Uh, emerald ore can only be found in newly generated mountain biomes, and by rare, it's as you, basically almost as common as redstone, but it only spawns in one ore. Me and my friend had the biggest luck ever and find, found some generated like this, but that was only once. Wow. That shouldn't be able to happen. It's generating like that. Yay, glitches. So... When you're looking for emerald blocks, and I, I haven't actually mined any, um, we should probably go find some eventually, but they only show up as a single a single block in any pocket of emerald? Yeah, they only uh, spawn like that most of the time. You may find one close by like this well, sometimes. It's fairly spread out and it's very difficult to okay. find. So what I'm going to do yeah. is I'm going to try and break it and see if it see how they drop. I got one. 
Yeah, and you get experience from mining ores that turn into items. Really? You get experience now for mining? Yeah. Not from mining iron, but you get experience from smelting iron and cooking food and everything. Wow. Gold gives you the most experience, and then iron, and then food is shortly after. Wow, so... Strip mining can actually be quite profitable now. Yeah, me and my friend have used that by... I got a fortune 2 picks, uh, not picks, pick on the Shallencraft, so we just to mine for emeralds and everything. And each time we got to level 30, we got up with the diamonds and everything we had and made more pickaxes and enchanted those and just kept it going. Wow. Um, can you put a power rail here? I want to try something. Yeah, sure. Oh, and yeah, you can also now, if you sit in an empty minecart and use the W or S key, you can now move backwards and forwards on the track without a powered rail, although it is extremely slow. Right. So put a power rail in front of the uh, yeah. I'm just looking for it. There we go. I'd have to change back. I'm still in survival. There we go. Okay. Power that. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Let me see if it does the same with the chest minecarts. Hell yeah. Oh, that's so useful. They do the, exactly the same with a furnace minecart. Indeed, but they stop moving. Yeah. Oh no, they actually... They are not affected by that anymore. That's awesome. You can now have auto-transporting furnaces. Badass. <laughs> uh, this game, they made it so easy. <laughs> Dooby -doo -be -doo. The angle is lagging a bit. It's still loading. Yeah, for me it's lagging because basically jungles are laggy, end of story. It's always been like that since they were added. <laughs> this is a jungle temple, one of the new dungeon-like things in the 1.3. And basically this place is filled with traps. Now, you have to be very careful and look on the ground. Do you have some torches? I can put a redstone torch up, that should give enough light. Do you see the tripwire? Oh, wow. It's extremely difficult to spot it, and when you step on it, it shoots that. Also, something to note, the power doesn't come from the tripwire, it comes from the tripwire hook. Tripwire so, hook? also, you can't step on the tripwire hook to activate it, you have to step on the tripwire itself. Wow. So, it's fairly difficult, and here are three diamonds and some other random stuff, and oh my god, this place is loaded with traps. Let's see, will it stop? Yes, but it's apparently uh, shuts off much slower in 1.3. Oh, I actually like that. As, uh, yeah, it's not as instant, and the sky clears a bit slower. Which makes it look a bit better, but it's not the best for lag. And yeah, yeah we I, know, also... I know rain lags yeah. a lot of people. Tripwire hook. Oh, and yeah, yeah, so anybody that is one uh, that uh, is wondering, this is the large biome uh, world type that I selected. I'm not sure if it works because we took a seed to it named Bunny, but me seems like it does at least. And oh yeah, laggy. Shanks not loading now happens on both multiplayer and single player because both are running a server. So basically, there is no except the uh, connection to the server may cause some issues. Okay, but how do you it, actually make a tripwire work? Uh, where are you? I'm coming back to the jungle temple. I'm in the village. Okay. Uh, first of all, you need to put the uh, tripwire in front of the two hooks, and you need two hooks. Well, wh where's... I don't see a tripwire item. It's just string. You just placed on string. Oh. Well, let me find where the string is in this thing. Yeah, it's, uh, foodstuffs. Yeah, that's the legit name. No, I don't Materials. See. Here it is. I found it. I found this bit. And then you just place it down and it'll hook up once it's between two of those. And you just have to place it on the ground in front of them. You can place it anywhere, that's cool. 
Yeah, you can even place it in mid air. And basically, if you place it in mid air, the only way you will have a chance to detect it is if you see the hitbox. The hitbox is right where I'm standing right now. If you look at normal eye level, you won't be able to see it. How'd you get it in the air? You just place it against the block. It's the most overpowered block in the game. Oh, wow. That, I will be very happy to see traps with that in uh, the next season of Mindcrack Ultra Hardcore, to be honest. That will be extremely interesting to see. Uh, it turns off. Oh, and yeah, you can only have up to 40 blocks between the hooks, then they stop working. <laughs> oh, you can also see them from below, I didn't know that. Oh, wow. That's awesome. <laughs> La -dee 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 -dee. <laughs> it's like, oh, you, you can make red, hovering redstone schematics using this, I just realized. Yeah. You can oh. now draw with string. That's so awesome. You can make floor maps using it if you have, like, a colored floor or something. Oh, that's going to be amazing. Put it on glass. Hell yeah. Glass with lava behind it, and you will have a... Like pathway map. <laughs> Me brain be working well. Of course it is. <laughs> like always. <laughs> now what we're gonna test is we're gonna confirm to see if mobs will spawn on half slabs, upside down half slabs, stairs, and upside down stairs. You can only go up to a layer 239. They will not spawn above block 240. Okay. So... You have about 100 blocks left. Well, I was going to go up to about 200. Yeah. Should work. Place it already. There we go. Okay. I'm going to back no. off first. You, you back off first, uh, so that you can uh, just cut it in, and I, you will see when I back off instantly that it starts spawning. Okay, here we go. We got half slabs and stairs. And instant spawns. Pull back some Creep more. On the upside down more. slabs. No, pull, pull, back down, uh, pull back to me. Pull back to me. Back to where yeah. I'm at. Because I want the front row to get spawns. There we go. Yeah, you see, they are spawning everywhere. But they're not spawning on on the upper half. They're only spawning on the lower half. Exactly. And if you wonder why they're not spawning on the wool on that side over there, and that sticks out, I put half slabs on top of that as well. Normal half slabs, not upside down ones. So here what we have on the top of the platform are normal stairs and half slabs. And on the lower half we have the upside down stairs and the upside down half slabs. And yes, they are spawning on the upside downs, but not on the right side ups. Yep. Um, but I can also show another feature. You can now put... Yes, let me bring these forth. I don't know if you can put pressure plates, but let's try that as well. My concern was is that in my town, all of my roofing was going to be spawnable. That's what I was concerned with, because my roofs are stairs. Yeah, normal stars should uh, not be affected, and look at this, you can place stuff on these. Oh, you can even place pressure plates, that's awesome. I didn't know you could place those. Dooby dooby doo. We got redstone, and tra tracks, and pressure plates. Let me see, can you place redstone torches? Let's that's see why not. Question. Oh, let me see if you can place normal torches. I haven't tried this yet, actually. That was stupid of me. Oh, wow! Well, can you place it on the side of a stair and a half slab? No, you can only place it on an upside down. Yeah, you can't place it on normals. You can't even place a redstone track on normal. Oh, and yeah! New creeper explosibility. It's a lot bigger. <laughs> Let me show that the dirt. And uh, this is also, I think, my okay, server is hard difficulty. These are not generated pigmen, they're actually standing in the portals. Hmm, that's I, awesome. I know we were spamming a bunch of uh, eggs here, but... I am still, I'm trying to create a villager. You didn't put these, you didn't put these here, did you? 
No. I am creating a villager bomb. Uh, yeah. uh, 150. Uh, Let's get to 400 before we do anything. I've got 119, 116, 118. If you have one block, they won't move until you push them or the block breaks. Oh, wow. <laughs> don't, touch, don't touch them, don't touch them, don't it's touch them. It's a freaking rainbow. Yeah, get down and just stand on the ground. 80 FPS. Down. Yeah, I remember. My computer is as, almost as good as DocM, so that's why I can do this stuff. Hell yeah. Okay, go for it. Second, it's almost 500. 500, ready? Villagers! Whoa, where the hell did I go? I now know. they're... <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's still like 480 here. Okay, remove, yes, the, we'll... remove the block oh. under their feet. There we go. Incoming bomb! <laughs> <laughs> oh, they have fixed so that it don't spread out anymore. That's so sad. Nope, oh, they yeah, just went splat. <laughs> yeah, when you did this earlier, they just fly all over the ground, or if you push them up in the clouds, they just explode over the whole area. It looked so amazing. Alright, we have an overworld pigman farm. Look at all these portals. This is crazy. Um... And it is actually working. So you, you, uh... Oh, okay, I see what you did down here. Yeah, so that they actually get funneled to the middle. <laughs> Cold farm! <laughs> I got the smite for fire aspect 2. Fire aspect won't do anything, but the knockback will. Smack! <laughs> Die! Hey! <laughs> None of that. That block back. Let me see if they will spawn up here. Just give me a second. I have to commit suicide again. Too much stuff in my inventory. Oh, one has spawned in this portal, and he's going down. And nice. eleven on. Ah well, he will keep going down slowly but surely. <laughs> uh, uh, this is so fun. That's the best feature ever. At least they didn't make it like when the nether portals came out in alpha that ghasts could spawn outside of them. That was just ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> ghasts at once. That was just so freaking stupid. Oh hey, goodbye bedrock. I'm going down. Going down? No. Dead. Doobie -doo. So we've got... A whole bunch of portals in a box. On the inside are trap doors so that the pigmen will walk off of the the ledge. And then we've got these uh, support bands on the outside so that they won't walk off this direction. And oh, they I all hope. get funneled into the center. Down this, this way. Less than 128 blocks away from each other. And this portal looks like one of Dokken's iron golem farms, by the way. Oh yeah, it does. <laughs> this looks so awesome. <laughs> you could probably do this all the way up to the sky block. Uh, not to the sky block. I fi oh yeah, maybe we will. Hmm. But this is a ridiculous amount of obsidian. Yeah, whatever. You might as well... Let's pull a Nebris like he does on Minecraft and just go mining with efficiency 4 slash 5 pickaxes. <laughs> efficiency 5 pickaxes obtained anymore. And just go into the end and murderize the... Uh, murderize the... Uh, what should I call it? Obsidian pillars. Oh, oh man! XP. <laughs> That's what it would yeah. take, yeah. To get yeah. this much obsidian? Murderize! <laughs> uh, Mega Joshua XD trademark. <laughs> it's now trademarked. Hope you're happy, Yosh. Mm, shut the time. You probably should stop eating, by the way. When you're recording. <laughs> uh... Okay. Another new item that we've got, and we don't have uh, game mode. All right, we'll wait on that one. Hey, dude, 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 you're <laughs> stinking up the place. Go away. 
<laughs> okay, another item we've got is uh, this book. You take an ink sack, a book, a feather, and you get a book and quill. It be basically becomes a writing book. You right click in the book, and now you can write. And now you can write in the book. You sign it. Me. <laughs> Test. And there it is. Me and test. then I can give it over here to Jonathan. Hey, John. Have a book. Thank you. Oh, and yeah, you can all. <laughs> Hello, YouTube. Best thing ever. Uh, <laughs> Kurt should need one. Too bad that Forlands doesn't exist in 1.8 up, else he should use one of these for... He should r write one of these for each time uh, he's going to record, so he has like... What was he going to talk about now? Oh, right. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Alright.